Hey, what's up? Paul Ingram here with Collie Center. I got some double knife training for you today. Before we do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, and let me know, do you prefer one knife or two knives? Some people like two, some people like one. I'd like to hear your thoughts. What do you, maybe uh, if you carry a knife, do you carry one, do you carry two? What's your thoughts between one knife versus two knives? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to continue your training with me, make sure to head over to colliecenter.com. Go check out our online training over at my online school where you can go further into your Collie skills. And I'm going to be using our very own Collie Center training knives. I love these training knives. They're great. They're fantastic for training. They're fantastic for sparring. All right? You know, you'll feel getting thrusted, getting cut and everything, but obviously, you know, there's the safety there. So, if you want Head over to our store over at colliecenter.com. Go order yourself a pair of our training knives and then uh, we'll get them shipped out to you right away. Let's go and take a look at this double knife drill right now. Let's take a look at a symmetrical drill on our double knife. That way we can train both hands. Even though they're doing the same thing, it's really important that we are developing the coordination on both sides of our body. We need a little bit of that ambidexterity in our skills when we're starting to work with especially two equal length weapons, just like the double knives right here. This whole drill is gonna be worked on the reverse grip, on the Pakal grip. If you have not been following Kali Center for a while, uh, if you have been, this is gonna be a quick review. If you, if you have not been, then uh, this might be new to you. But anytime that we are operating in the reverse grip, make sure your thumb caps the knife. It is on top of the knife. Don't just hold it like that, okay? You want your thumb to cap the knife and be on top of the knife. That way when you're thrusting, the knife is always secure in your hand because most of us, most of us, okay, if you are an exception to this, that's fine, but most of us carry some sort of folding knife so we probably don't have a hand guard or something like that. So you wanna make sure that this thing is secure in your grip so you uh, eliminate any option of thrusting and then your hand sliding down and running your fingers on the blade, right? So that's why we cap the knife. So it's a good idea to train that, make sure we're training the proper grip even when we're working with our training knives, okay? Let's take a look at the drill. I'm gonna come out with that thrust just like this. Now, in my mind, in my mind's eye, in my visualization, you should always be incorporating visualization in your practice. I'm gonna visualize somebody stopping this. I'm gonna hook this to clear that resistance, and now I have a slash, a circular thrust, and then a quick jab, just like that. So we're using a combination of all the basic movements, a slash, a thrust, and a jab within this one combination. So let's take a look at that again. I'm gonna thrust. I'm gonna imagine somebody is going to stop me right there and create some resistance. I'm gonna hook this to clear that and I'm gonna slash circular thrust into a jab just like that. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the left hand. I'm gonna come out, thrust, visualizing that resistance, hook this out, slash it, circular thrust and quick jab just like that. Let's take a look at that from uh, another side. Thrust, hook it out, Slash it, circular thrust, quick jab, just like that. Other side, thrust, hook this out, slash it, circular thrust, bam, quick jab, just like that. All right, let's make sure we have those moves down. One, two, three, four, five per side. One, two, three, four, five per side. If you need to kind of break it down, chop it up in the very beginning, that's totally cool. Just go one, two, three, work that part first. Get that down on the right hand side and then get that down on the left hand side just like that. And then we can add in those last two. Just like that, not too bad. Let's go over to the uh, Kali arm and take a look at uh, if you have a Kali arm or anything like that, how we can start training a little bit more of that resistance in a solo training fashion. All right, so here we have the collie arm. As I come in on the thrust, we can pretend that this was someone's arm coming in to block that. I'm gonna hook it and clear that thing out. And then we're gonna slash right back in there and then we can go circular thrust into that fast jab just like that. I come in, boom, pretending that that arm is someone else's arm. It's not a stick in this case. You gotta use your imagination here. Clear that out and then slash that, boom, right there. And then circular thrust into that jab just like that. So use of the collie arm, hopefully this is gonna help you out with that visualization as you're training that, right? There's that resistance. 
clear it, slash it, and then your follow-up. So there's resistance, clear it, slash it, and then there's the follow-up. Resistance, clear it, slash it, and then that follow-up. So having a collie arm like this is a really good tool for training the technique and understanding the principles behind the techniques and, and how they operate and everything like that. You can always put even a shorter stick in there if you wanted to, you know, a lot of ways that you can work with it. Okay, so it may not always be that someone is blocking us. This could also be a thrust into a tap or something like that. Maybe we're countering them and then we're gonna ride that, slash it, and then follow up, right? I might have to stop their attack from coming in, ride that, and then get back into the follow-ups and into all of the uh, attacks. All right, that's our double knife drill for the day. Work it out, start nice and slow, boom, right here, pop. And then if you're feeling up to it, come out, boom, pop, pop that double jab and then give it another rip thrust just like that. And then you can come all the way through, boom, boom, right here. And then there's that thrust, which you kind of kind of rip it through. And then that can also put you on the other side. So that way you have a really nice, smooth transition, working it out to the other side. So you can work that into the drill as well. A little bit of double knife. This is a really a fun area of Kali, especially when you get to the sparring. It's a, in my opinion, in my experience, probably one of the most challenging areas of Kali is the double knife because, you know, you got these short little uh, razor blades that you got to work with, you know, especially when you're sparring double knife to double knife. In my personal experience, I think this is probably really one of, if not the most advanced of the weapon categories because uh, you don't have a whole lot of protection. You know, I had a comment uh, before on my uh, channel, one of my last knife videos, if there's a video of us doing knife blocks. I don't really understand what they're meaning by that. You mean like blocking with the knife? No, <laughs> no, you're not, you're not gonna be blocking with uh, you know, not gonna use your knife to block. So um, that's how I interpreted that question. But anyway, you know, you don't have that. So it's really, you know, when you're looking at knife skills, it really comes down to your ability to maneuver, to control the measure of range, and to understand timing and tactics so that way you can get in and get out. Whether you are getting in on the attack or you gotta make a quick counter and then repost and work your skills. So knife, especially double knife, takes a very high level of skill to be successful with uh, in your training, in your sparring, and all that stuff. But that challenge is what makes it really fun. All right, once again, head over to CollieCenter.com. Make sure to check out our store and go grab yourself a pair of our training knives. Great for training, great for sparring. Check out our online school also over at CollieCenter.com. We have a lot of fantastic training options. You can train with us directly one-on-one -on -one through our online uh, private lessons and all that over on our Patreon. I got the link down below for everything. You can also check out our online school over at, well, CollieCenter.com. Just go check, click the link down below, my friends. Just click the link and then go check it all out. And hopefully we'll see you on the inside, my friend. Get outside, go make nature your Collie Dojo, and go have fun with some double knives today. <laughs>